Hi, just a quick second channel video update on the NAS and uh, the rumours of the death of all the drives in my NAS uh, was greatly exaggerated. Uh, yes, there it is, drive three. I have a new uh, CMR Red uh, Western Digital Red Plus drive in there and it's all resynced and it's working just fine and dandy. But of course, there's always somebody on Twitter who doesn't want to believe stuff that you say even when you pre present them with evidence. So here's even more evidence for those who don't believe the temperature readings that I get on my drives. Now, um, this this is actually the eFax uh, version. Sorry, I'm not going to bother to edit this and get a screen capture. This is the uh, this is the eFax e version. So this is the SMR drive. I'm probably going to leave it in there because it's only got 15,000 hours on it. I thought I had the same as the others, but no, I must have put it in much later. Anyway, it's all healthy and all the smart data says it's fine. So I'm probably going to leave it in there, even though I do have another um, spare drive. But anyway, here's the new one. It's got less than 24 hours operation on it, and it's well, it's just ticked over to 33 degrees C because I'm making it do some stuff now. Anyway, 33 degrees Celsius. This one here always gets the hottest, 34. This one up here is 33 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it, it appears that the SMR actually runs um, cooler. This eFax version actually runs cooler. Um, anyway, somebody doesn't believe those temperatures, even though. I posted th uh, f uh, f thermal images and everything else. So let's go over and check out what's what, shall we? So let's go up here. Here we go. What I've done is I've actually put a temperature sensor on the third drive. That's the, that's number three drive there, the new uh, replacement one. 33.3 degrees Celsius. I put it on the metal surface. I put it near the back. Um, I posted a photo on Twitter. I won't bother editing it in, but uh, anyway, you'll be able to see that it was on the back side, like over the motor, because when I took it out and I felt it, that seemed to be the hottest place on the drive. So I put the thermocouple on the hottest place on the drive, and it matches, shock horror, it matches the internal temperature sensor. And if we get our flur, here, let's 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 have a look. Here we go. Oh, it's recalibrating. You can see that. Oh, sorry. Oh, geez, this is getting tricky now. The hottest part of the case is what is that? Twenty-three degrees. That that ain't much. And if I spin the whole thing around, so or well, hopefully is this a bad idea? Could come a gutsy here. Hang on. So we can access the fans at the back. Fans at the back. Like, you get, like that's not even warm. That's not even warm. <laughs> Dual fans in there. And you can see that the hottest it's measuring there is 26 degrees. So it'll look like that. That little cursor will jump to the hottest spot within the frame. So there you go. Um, yep. That's easily... The hottest thing there and of course my uh router and wi-fi over here that's running uh, 33 something like that but yep you can see that my raid drive runs very cool indeed and i don't even have the fan on the highest um setting there is like a full setting i think i've got it on just uh like i uh, like mid setting or something it might even be the quietest i can't actually remember and it's yeah it's doing stuff it's actively um copying uh stuff at the moment and um yeah it's working just fine because this like no i don't lock it in this cupboard the doors actually stay open so you know it, it's just uh at the ambient temperature of the room which is about 23 c at the moment it's getting a little bit warm um Anyway, so yeah, these drives have never gotten above that. They've never gotten above 10 degrees above ambient. And you can see that there's huge gaps all right on the side of all these drives here. So thermally, I don't know why this one, the EFAX one, would run cooler. So it'd be nice to do an experiment and replace that with uh, the new Red Plus and see if it actually runs uh, hotter or not. But um, yeah, like there's nothing thermally different really between them apart from like the surface over here doesn't have one next to it but this one's kind of cooler than the other two and ah, uh, like there's not much in it there's only a couple of degrees but yeah they run about uh 10 degrees 
at most, at absolute most, even when these things are being flogged, resinking overnight, um, it, like the full flogging of this thing to death overnight, resinking my failed driving there, it did not get above 33 degrees um, Celsius. So there you go. That's just uh, proof that my Ray Drive runs very, and you can see the fans. See the fans in the back of there. So the airflow um, through this is just like <laughs> these things are, are practically just sitting in free air, really. Um, even better than that because they've got like some airflow over them. But yeah, only 10 degrees, see, above ambient. There you go. Hope you found it interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.